Hey guys, Chevy here. Uh, today I want to put in my entry for uh, Lock Fumbler's 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, congratulations, Lock Fumbler, um, on 1,000 subscribers. That is an incredible achievement. Uh, I'm very happy you've got that uh, that many subscribers. Um, your video content is really, really good, uh, and so you're very deserving of it. I really like how you talk through locks and you kind of do these how-to on, on how to open them. Uh, for someone like me, it's very, very helpful to, to not only be descriptive, uh, but to, to show what you're doing as well. So great content. Keep it up. Uh, love it. Um, the idea of this, uh, this challenge, per se, is uh, to kind of go through, you know, uh, the locks uh, that kind of started you out. Uh, and what kind of gave you a breakthrough. Um, and I've had a few locks that did that. Uh, so I wanted to go over a couple and then maybe pick a couple. Uh, first one, first, first, uh, this is the first lock here, this acrylic uh, that got me into uh, lock sport. Uh, my son had bought a kit off of Amazon or something. So I had some uh, cheap Chinese uh, style picks and this, uh, this acrylic lock. And, uh, I just thought it was super cool, uh, similar to the cutaways you see, you know, how you could, uh, you can see inside and how the mechanism works. And I've always, always been into mechanics and, you know, fiddling around with things of that nature. So to see this kind of piqued my interest and, and, uh, and thought, you know what, maybe I could start playing with, uh, playing with locks and start picking them. So this was my first introduction into locks. Um, Shortly after, I went to the hardware store and I bought this uh, Master Lock Fortress. Uh, I got this at a Mitre 10, which is a hardware store here in Australia. Um, this is a four pin. I think it's close to like a 140, the Master Lock 140, but I believe this to be unranked. It's close to, I think, a yellow. It's a four pins and has a couple of spools in it. Um, shortly after, I got a Master Lock M5, but I've given that away. So I don't have that to show you anymore, but those Master Locks were you know, the first real padlocks I ever picked. And, um, you know, I had those uh, cheap Chinese picks forever. Um, and uh, I ended up buying the Sparrows Progressive Kit. Um, and so I bought these and these were my practice locks. Um, you know, this is what really got me into uh, learning how to pick. Now, even though the feedback on these is very muted, uh, I didn't realize that at the time. Um, I hadn't, uh, I hadn't picked this lock up. Um, so these here, uh, you know, I started picking them, uh, with, with my cheap picks and I was just putting super heavy tension on them and, and I was bending the picks, you, you know, those, those cheap locks of, you know, terrible, uh, terrible metal in it. And, you know, I was so heavy handed anyways, and I'm glad I was bending those locks and, and not some expensive locks from, uh, another maker. But, um. Yeah, the bidding on these, uh, say for this red one here, it's got low, high, low, and this green one here has the uh, the high, low, high. And learning these biddings really helped me out, I think, going forward, uh, picking real locks. I think these are so muted because of the, uh, the chamfered chambers, so they really did a disservice there, I think, because these are basically just, uh, just mantle pieces, you know, just for show. Um, but they were really cool uh, when I first started picking. Just didn't realize I wasn't really getting the feedback that I needed. So, uh, although it piqued my interest, I'm not sure how much I learned from it. But uh, anything to take away would just be learning the bidding, the different types of bidding and, and how to reach these pins. Um, yeah, after this, uh, after a couple master locks, uh, I decided to pick up some some Lockwoods at uh, local Bunnings, so it's a hardware store here in Australia. And this 334 is really what did it for me. It really ch changed my outlook on on how to pick a lock. I almost thought all of them were similar to the master lock, where you just put super heavy tension, bottom of the keyway, just crank it and and pick it open. But it's not the case. The Lockwood itself really takes light tension uh, and, and light picking uh, to be able to set these spools. Lockwoods has their, uh, you know, iconic shallow spools uh, that has a very little, um, you know, very little counter rotation uh, as opposed to something like this master lock. So I'm going to pick this master lock and then go to the 334 and just kind of show you um, that 
but yeah, you can pick this with, uh, you know, fairly heavy tension. Uh, so I used to pick this bottom of the keyway all the time. But now I pick top, which uh, I think is a lot better. But, you know, this one you could just really pound away at these things. Uh, you know, and get a nice false set there. You can see I already have the false set, so I could look to, you know, oh, I think I already just set three there. And then I have this big spool. So it was three. Oh, maybe not. Looks like I should go back to uh, picking these master locks. So one, two, give me a false set. Nice false set. A deeper false set. Sorry for the camera, we gotta figure this out. Uh, and then here we go, okay, we're open. So really my first encounter with spools um, in an actual padlock and uh, and, and getting that counter rotation. So this started to get me to start picking a bit lighter, but you could still crank through these, like a lot of the master locks. But it's this, uh, this 334, so it really changed the game for me. Really having to feel, um, you know, light tension. Uh, I just I couldn't pick this for weeks. I had this for weeks and I just put it away and I thought, you know what, maybe, maybe lock picking isn't for me. I can't seem to get this. Uh, this simple padlock and uh, I was just too heavy handed on it you know just very heavy I was bottom of the keyway and just cranking at this and I would get nothing everything would be binding like when you're heavy tension on this 334 everything just binds nothing moves and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me you know and you know I was bottom of the keyway here and just cranking on it and and even worse, bottom of the keyway. It was just, it just didn't make sense to me. I just couldn't pick anything until I watched someone's video on it. I can't remember who. And I learned, uh, I learned it took light tension, very light tension, uh, and nudging just to get this, uh, get this set. So I'll, I'll pick this here. This is five pin. There's four, three, two, and one so just like that they can open but it's it was so hard it was so difficult for me to figure out how to open this thing but once once I learned you needed really light tension you just let the feedback you know tell you what to do uh, the slight counter rotations uh, it changed the game for me it really changed the game for me and allowed me to start opening up a ton more locks I I was just heavy tension all the time and just binding every pin I could on every lock so once I learned this lock would it really changed the game for me and uh, you know I'm thankful for that so this is really my comfort lock now and I always go back to this uh, you know when I'm not feeling great or I can't uh, I can't open something I always go back here and just play around with this and it really makes me feel like I know how to pick because of this lock in in general um, so yeah uh, Lock Fumbler, uh, congratulations on a thousand subscribers. That's awesome. Hope to see a thousand more very soon. Uh, I love your content. I love the how to's. I, I love that descriptiveness and, uh, and talking through uh, the locks. I tend to do that myself while I'm sitting here is, is kind of talk myself through it and count down the pins and things of that sort. But um, yeah, um, yeah, thanks for letting me put a video in. Uh, you have some really cool prizes. Uh, be awesome to get a hold of. Uh, even a couple of those things would be really nice. But um, yeah, I love your content. And uh, I just thought, yeah, I needed to uh, put a video out. You know, where, where did I start and, uh, and uh, where am I now? So um, yeah, uh, thanks again. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Uh, I, hope you get, I hope you get some more subscribers. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, have a good day and good luck to everyone in the draw.